Um, I interviewed my mom for this presentation. And I did it on October 9th during the evening. We just did it at my house because that was the easiest place to do it. I had planned to do it for about a half an hour, but it was only like 15 minutes. And we did it in person. <clears throat> um, conception. My mom and my dad had no trouble getting pregnant with this child or any of their other children. She had no really troubles with any previous births beside, besides a C-section and my sister having to get vacuumed out. She said she wasn't really built to have children. And there was no concern of genetic disorders because none run in the family and she had not experienced any miscarriages before. During pregnancy. Um, she said she craved anything and everything. She didn't have any specific cravings. She just ate everything all the time. She started to feel interactions with the fetus around four or five months. And the fetus did not respond to anything specific, but she said he moved all the time. She had me and my sister, but said we weren't much trouble, like she was tired all the time, but we were a lot to help before and after the baby came. Um, they found out what they were going to have, but didn't with me and my sister. And they found out they were going to have a son and they wanted a son because they had already had two girls, but they said they would have been happy with anything. And she said my dad played a huge role because he's the one that ran and got all the food and all that kind of stuff. And she loved being pregnant and carrying babies, but um, delivery really scared her. Health and wellness. Um, she said she did not really have a fitness level at all when she was pregnant because she was tired all the time and she didn't really, she never really worked out or anything before she got pregnant. Um, her diet had changed a little bit when she was pregnant. She ate a lot more junk and ate a lot more food in general. And she took prenatal vitamins. She gained lots of weight especially with my brother, but with me and my sister too. She gained around 60 pounds with him and lost majority of like that weight breastfeeding. The fetus was very healthy throughout the pregnancy. There was no really problems with him. Labor and delivery. Um, she didn't experience any false alarms, like, right, her water instantly broke and she went into labor. She had plans to take drugs because for her, pregnancy was very, very painful. She was in labor for about eight hours. She went in there at about two, she said, and had my brother at about midnight. And Dryden was born at midnight, so they got to choose his birthday. He wasn't born right on midnight, but the doctors just let them choose anyways. There was a slight complication. Um, his heart rate, heart rate was very, very high, and his head was transverse. So that means like his head was turned and she couldn't have a vaginal birth. But because his heart rate was so high, they wanted to get him out as quick as they could. So she ended up having a C-section. She was in the hospital for about two or three days after her son Dryden's birth. And then this is just some pictures. 